Welcome back to Udang Wei. This week with the tutorial video, like we said before, we're going to be going over Xiebu. This is going to be your introduction video to go over the basic structure. We're going to take it step by step and introduce each kind of detail about it that will help you make sure you're getting the stance correctly on your own. Because this is going to be our first of the specialty series. So let's jump right into the details of what a Xiebu is. For Xiebu, what we're going to be talking about is this is our narrow stance. It's a cross stance is what we're going to translate it to. But really it's narrow and small and lower than the mabu and gombu. Okay? So if we started from a mabu, for example, the distance is going to be the first thing we want to talk about with shebu. When we jump down into a shebu, we're going to, for example, I'll show you the distance. We're going to be sinking down into a posture like this. And you'll notice the feet are a lot closer together. So when we have this, we have a cross stance. What that means is we're going to be opening our left foot, placing it down as in it's actually opened outside then stepping in halfway from what a mabu would be. So if our mabu was here, we're gonna open this foot and then step into that halfway on the toe and then just sink down, okay? So for here, what we wanna talk about the flexibility of the knee is really important because if we have our basic squat position, if we were to sink down and the problem that you tend to have is the body sticks out forward, then there's a lack of strength in the back and a lack of flexibility in the knees. We want to be able to sink down in a straight line and keeping the knees wide and somewhat over. They're going to tip forward a little, but they don't want to have this like flat back. The angle you want to go for is the angle of the shins matching the angle of the back. So when we actually hip hinge and squat down, you'll notice that this angle is like a figure four when we get to 90 degrees. So you're leaning forward a little, but the back is straight, not rounded. And that way you know that you've got flexibility and strength to be able to squat down. And that's how we can kind of work on the shibu to make sure that you can sink down in this posture without injuring or overstressing the knees. Okay? So a detail that might be harder to see on camera is when we step with this leg open and we step in, the knee is actually going to the outside of the leg. So this distance is very tight. This distance is close. The distance also is important going back because if we have this stance too far back, like here, when we drop down, we're actually going to hit the ground with the knee. So we want to make sure that we're close together. So these knees, the two knees are close together and tight. And this space is bigger than this space. Okay. So distance is very, very important for the shebu cross stance. Second detail we want to go through is to make sure that the flexibility is engaged. So flexibility, we talked about knees already, but we also have flexibility with the ankle. When we do the ankle, we want to make sure that we open it all the way and place it down to where it's actually functioning as a T. So this is stopping our weight from going forward. If the foot is not open and you're here, the balance is very, very difficult because your line is your toe, your heel, and your back toe. So you can see even here sitting is very, very difficult because these lines are all in one line. These three points are all in one line. So if we open the foot, then you create a T. Toes, heels, and the toe in the back, you create a triangle. And this is very stable. So flexibility comes from stability. So now we have this, we have our weight sit it back. Then we can talk about the coordination of the strength. Actually here you can see in this stance, I'm sitting all the way back on the back foot. So. About 90% of my weight is on my right leg in this case. And if I twist to the right, it's gonna be on my left leg. Okay, so there's nothing really lean forward. The front leg is your balance leg. It's your stability leg. Okay, the back leg is your strength leg. Okay, so we wanna make sure that coordination is equal on both sides. To where if we step forward, we can simply open the ankle, step in, and sink down. Okay? From here, we have lots of different techniques. We've got straight strikes we've got leaning the body as long as we have that root on the back foot we're going to know that we're not leaning forward and not raising the butt not not disrupting our posture so this is very stable this can be a nice easy practice to just practice standing up stepping with the ankle open stepping in slightly and sinking down with the weight on the back foot okay so you can always have that as like an easy just stability flexibility and a little bit strength conditioning squat Okay, make sure you do this a little bit warmed up. You do some regular open squats, maybe do some fast walking, move around a little bit, make sure you're warmed up because this is a little bit of a stretch, but a lot of good strength because you get all the way around the upper leg. It's not just one plane of training like a squat. Okay, 
So this is the basic structure of shebu. We're going to use that with different stances, especially with twists and throws and low striking. So really important to make sure that you have your structure right. This is one of the stances that's really important to have an instructor kind of watch you through, make sure you have it right. But I think if you follow through this video a few times and make sure you get those points stuck in your head, then moving forward we'll be able to add new details and combine it into your training. So then join us back here at Wudang Wei in the next couple tutorials where we're going to be going over those drills and consolidating this basic training into something you can actually perform and train at home on your own. So we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudang Patreon account. And by becoming a patron, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, in group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.